I get into it, the first thing um, that I will show is my muse here, who I actually designed for. Um, she's in her 60s and the project was to um, really kind of celebrate that and really enhance um, our muses. Uh, so there she is. And then we also looked at recent trends as well. Obviously a lot of print as well in uh, London Fashion Week and around the world. Analyzing them and then making our own prints. This is some applique work. And then just layering some of the shapes from the applique that I've done onto models to kind of create my own garments and then flat drawings as well. Some more applique. This one was inspired by the um, Dolce & Gabbana show that you guys might have seen, which was um, featured lots and lots of owls on it. Um, and then I did some painting on a screen, um, which is another print technique. And then the top of it, I just hand kind of knitted. Um, it's known as finger knitting. And then I did the same throughout the whole one on this. Again, more painting on a screen. This was inspired by Burberry. You guys might have seen that they did loads and loads of pieces um, for their collection where they, um, I believe it was just hand painting and they hand painted um, loads of coats, scarves, just a whole bunch of stuff, including bags and shoes as well. Again, I put it onto a model and then did some flat drawings. And this one's got the um, finger knitting on it as well. Then I began to look at one of my favourite, um, my muse's favourite um, designers and artists. Her name is Sonia Delaunay. There she is. Um, she's French and um, she has some incredible colourful work and she's done lots and lots of um, really amazing stuff. Um, especially, you know, coordinating prints into garments and um, yeah, it's just incredible. Um, and I believe she had a show um, in 2014 as well, um, even though she is no longer alive. And then did some more prints. And even more prints. I did attempt to cut the bottom to kind of make it like fringing, but it hasn't really stayed very well. A lot of this is colour blocking. And again, fringing, that kind of just hasn't really stuck in place but you get the general idea and again the same here and then I began to work on my colour palette so these are just ideas for my colour palette and then this is what I came up with which is very very bright not what I would really do but um, I was just really inspired by this Roberta Cavalli dress here um, and then this one here which is by a designer called Merimekko never really heard of them before. Let me just zoom in. And then Roberta Cavalli again. And I just really love this panel dress. It's pretty spectacular. Um, and then Sonia Delaunay as well. So that was a pretty crazy colour palette. I don't think I'll be working that crazy again. And then colour proportion to see which kind of colours, you know, kind of would work with, you know, more of this colour less of that colour and just kind of going through all the colours and doing that. And then I began to do some kind of collage and cutting up bits of paper and drawing just for some idea generation again. Um, and you can probably tell I used quite a lot of kind of triangle shapes, circle shapes. And then I did some collages here and then translated it into a print. This is actually on fabric, so it's an actual fabric screen print. And then again, that one was the collage and then that one is the actual fabric print. And then the same there. And um, these are actually screen prints. And then these are painting on a screen. And then this is just um, acrylic paint. A really nice way to just get quick texture onto the fabric. 
and then again this is all just painting on a screen and then comes in a bit of Photoshop and Illustrator which is one of my favorite programs I have to say um, and then just playing around with the different colors and prints that I've already done as you can see these are the ones that I previously did um, all of them and putting them into garment shapes to see how they would look and then of course I did some more prints this is one of my definitely one of my favorite prints and then I began working on my collection now the original designs that I've done here um, were way too fitted and my muse actually liked really loose silhouettes so I had to rework my entire collection as you can see a lot of these silhouettes are quite tight fitted especially the jeans here the coat the sleeves on this dress everything is very very tight fitted um, but you know that was something I could definitely improve on and um, that's what I later on did but then I filled it in with all the different prints that I've done and it just looks very very busy I don't know if you guys can see that but that is a really really tiny print from a print that I did before just scaled down in Photoshop same here and here and it just looks so so busy there's just way too much going on and so then I started to develop it so first of all I started to develop the garment silhouettes by making them a little bit more loose fitted um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that there um, and I'll show you my um, end garment as well that I made which is actually that one um, which is developed from this one so yeah just started to make them very very loose and I started to look at um, a lot of curved lines and shapes through pottery and um, paper that's been folded this is the uh, Charles de Gaulle airport in uh, France and then just put it into uh, Photoshop I looked at Kenzo as well with these waves. They obviously used prints as well, which look a little bit like painting on a screen to me. And uh, just started looking at curved lines, which I thought was quite interesting as well. And then I reworked it into a collection. So that is the end dress that I did make, which was um, TR cutting. Um, I will upload a video with my file as well, so you can see all the different techniques that I used. And then that is the collection being worked into. And then these white spaces are for the prints. So first of all, I wanted to see what it would look like without the prints. Just in case I preferred it without the prints. Um, and then I went on to do some more prints for my actual collection. So that's uh, Sonia Delaunay. And then I was just kind of inspired by her. Again, Sonia Delaunay. And then inspired by it. This looks quite nautical to me, and this was actually one of the final garments, so that's how the print has that incorporated into the dress. Some more prints, painting on a screen. Um, some of these prints actually reminded me of uh, Kandinsky. And then I just did some random experimentation of some prints. These ones in particular remind me of Jackson Pollock's work. Um, I thought these were crazy, but they didn't really go very much with my project. Um, and then just some development of which prints I think work better in some of the garments. And then in the end I decided that one with the ribbon worked better. And there's some more. And then that is my final collection. So that's what it looks like with all the prints in it. And then once I decided on my final collection, I obviously started to make the last, um, the garment, um, the actual one, which is that one. And then I made a toile of it. And it's actually got, I don't know if you can see it in here, but right here and here, it's actually got sinkholes in it, um, which you probably can't tell at all. Um, but it has like inside it's actually got sinkholes um, so it's like a drop pocket which you can probably tell in my design um, but I will show that to you in a second and then just some more 
print work. This one is one of my favourite prints, and that is the one in the coat. Another print, screen print, and then a plique, which this is one of my other garments. And then this is the dress. And then these are some final illustrations. That is the end of my sketchbook, but um, I will also post a video of my technical file, which I put all of the different skills that I learnt um, throughout this project on my channel as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and I hope you have a fantastic day, night, week, weekend, wherever you are. Take care. Bye! So